In this lesson, we're going to talk about some common communication patterns in distributed systems. Different communication patterns require QoS settings that configure DDS to behave differently. Different communication patterns require different behaviors in DDS, and different behaviors in DDS requires different QoS values to be configured. In most systems, there's not just a single communication pattern that's being used. There's usually multiple. You may have data that's periodic. You may have data representing commands. You have data that representing state or status information. You may need to do request reply, not just publish subscribe. You may need to handle failover from redundant applications. A single QoS configuration cannot be used to provide the same behavior across all scenarios. Fundamentally, you need different QoS values for different data paths. Here's an example of an electric car. This electric car has a start and stop button, it has a battery temperature sensor, it has a dashboard display, and has a black box recorder. If we were going to use DDS in this car, the first thing we have to do is identify the different data streams in the car. For example, the battery might be sending out a data stream of battery temperature. The start stop button might be sending out a stream of commands to start and stop and start the car. The data logger may be sending out information about its status. Different systems might publish these streams and different systems might subscribe to these streams. Here, the display subscribes to all the data. Each individual data stream in DDS is called a DDS topic. Now that we have the data for a system divided into DDS topics, we need to understand how the data for each DDS topic behaves. There are three common patterns that we can say exists. First is a periodic or streaming data. This data is sent periodically at fixed intervals. It could be temperature data, basically data from any analog sensor. It could be uh, radar. The radar is tracking several aircraft and periodically it sends out the current position. Video and audio streams also fall under the category of periodic or streaming data. Another kind of data is state or status information. This data is not sent periodically. It's sent only when the state changes. So device status, node health, configuration settings are all kinds of state or status information. The third category are commands and events. This is data that's sent, again, not periodically, but in response to an event, like an alarm, or a command, like the user presses the button. We'll see that different QoS policies are needed for different communication patterns. For periodics or streaming, like the battery temperature, you may adjust the reliability of that data, you may subsample using a time-based filter, you may send them data using multicast, using transport multicast, and you may set a deadline that will tell DDS how often to expect the data. State and status information, like the logger status, you may set to be reliable. You may need historic information about that data. And also, the data may be set durably so that when applications get rebooted, they immediately get the current state of the system. Finally, commands and events may use the reliability, lifespan, and liveliness QoS policies to configure commands and events to be sent properly. In summary, different behaviors are usually required for different data streams. You may have reliable data, you may have fault tolerant data, you may have low latency data, you may have high throughput requirements. We broadly can define three categories of data delivery patterns, periodic, state, and commands. There are different combinations of QoS policies that are useful for configuring different behaviors.